How would you like to enjoy endless hot water? Well, you can with an EcoSmart tankless water heater. You just have to select the right model that fits your needs, which is as easy as one, two, three. One, you need to determine the inlet water temperature in your location. Simply refer to the sizing map. Find your inlet water temperature based on the color of your location. For example, a Florida home will have a warmer inlet water temperature of 67 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit than a home in Minnesota, which has a colder inlet water temperature of 37 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. This means in a colder climate, like Minnesota's, your tankless water heater will have to work harder to heat your water because it requires a greater temperature rise, while your tankless water heater doesn't have to work as hard in a warmer climate, such as Florida's, because it requires a lower temperature rise. 2. Once you've determined your inlet water temperature, you need to figure out your gallons per minute. You'll see the gallons per minute and approximate usage on the color-coded chart with shower and faucet symbols under your determined inlet water temperature. For example, if you live in South Florida, your inlet water temperature would be 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you plan on running two faucets and a shower simultaneously, your gallons per minute would be 2.68, so you would require the Eco 11 tankless water heater. 3. Before choosing a tankless water heater, find out if your home has the necessary electrical requirements to support the unit you need. Since they have greater voltage requirements, you may need to have a qualified electrician install upgraded breakers and thicker gauge wiring to handle the increase in power. For example, an Eco 11 requires one 6 gauge wire and a 60 amp double pole breaker to function properly. The only thing you need to do now is have a professional install your EcoSmart unit. With simple installation, an endless supply of hot water is just three easy steps away. 1. Mount the unit in a convenient location in your home. 2. Once mounted with the unit turned off, run water through it to remove any air pockets to enhance the unit's efficiency. And finally, 3. Activate the unit. To find out which EcoSmart tankless water heater model is right for you, simply refer to our sizing map and interactive sizing guide. For more information about our products, call 888-212-5962. Unlike a tank water heater, a tankless electric water heater will never run out of hot water. But turn on one too many taps and tankless electric water heaters have difficulty keeping up with the demand. That is until Stiebel Eltron invented advanced flow control. An integral part of every Temper Plus whole house tankless water heater, advanced flow control stops that cold water surprise. Here's how it works. In a tankless electric water heater, everything works fine during periods of low demand. With a properly sized heater, everything is also fine during periods of medium demand. But if a high demand period overloads the tankless unit, water heaters from other manufacturers can't keep up and the hot water turns cold. But in a Stiebel Eltron Temper Plus, advanced flow control automatically reduces the flow rate slightly to keep the hot water temperature at the set point. Advanced flow control was invented by Stiebel Eltron and is found only in our Temper Plus whole house water heaters. No other manufacturer of tankless electric water heaters has anything like it. Stiebel Eltron Temper Plus with advanced flow control gives you a hot shower. Every time, all the time. This is the overview for the FBI 12 whole home tankless water heater. Now, to save on time, I've already removed the front cover. To do so, you remove these two screws located here at the bottom and these two screws located here at the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out all the individual components of the machine and then I'm going to explain how it works. Starting here on the right, you've got the display, the ignition pack, your gas water valve assembly. This knob controls the water flow. This knob controls the gas flow. Your gas solenoid your outlet water temperature sensor, your flame sensor and ignition pins. Your flame sensor is located here in the back, ignition pins here in the front. There's a second set located on the other side. Your fan assembly, your control pack, your vacuum switch, and your overtemp sensor. Now how the unit works is water flows into the inlet, which in turn pushes on a plunger, 
and activates the micro switch. Now the micro switch sends out a signal to three separate areas. It sends a signal out to the fan to engage to start pulling air up through the burners. It sends a signal out to the ignition pack to start igniting. And it sends a signal to the solenoid to open and allow the gas to flow up and through. Once that's done and the burners are lit, the flame sensor takes over. Now, if the flame sensor detects that there's a flame, it'll stop the ignition process. If it doesn't detect that there's a flame, it'll continue to ignite until a flame is present. Last, your overtemp sensor. Your overtemp sensor basically is like a fail-safe. If the water temperature exceeds a value that is too much for the machine to handle, it'll go ahead and shut the unit down to prevent any damage from occurring. And this concludes the overview for the FVI-12 whole home tankless water heater.